Good afternoon, everyone. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Jay's English Room. So this is the first episode, and I would like to start this episode with the most popular question that I got asked about, which is how I started and practice English to become this fluent. And this whole video is going to be English only, so you guys can practice with me too. So let's get started. Bye, Bob. Let's get started. So the first thing that I want to start is the most important thing for you to get better at English, which is to get rid of your fear. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to make mistake, and don't be afraid to ask. Let's say you come here, you speak with the native speaker, and you cannot catch up with what they say. Don't be afraid to ask because they're all willing to speak slowly or try to communicate to make you understand. And also, never compare your English skills or accent to somebody else because everybody is unique in their own way. Everybody has their own accent, and they're all beautiful. I'm telling you, since I came to this country, I have listened to so many accents, and they all have their own beauty. If someone wants to bully you, or they make fun of you when when you make mistake, when you want to practice, when you see something wrong, and if there are there, and if there are your friends, they are not even worth you hang out with, because I feel like if someone's happiness is to bring others down, I would just walk away from it. I, I would just stay away from them. They are not even worth to be friend of yours, you know. And I think this is what everybody should do. So now let's get to how I start and practice my English. So back to when I was in Thailand, I practiced my English by one. I bought the bedtime story for the kids. You know, like started from easy first. So. You know the bedtime story. They use like simple words and stuff like that, and read it over and over again to get used to with like uh, how to pronounce each word and keep reading it until you get used to it. And the second thing that I did was watching international movie. I just turned the subtitle to English. Do not turn the Thai subtitle on. And pick the movie that you like. Pick the favorite one that you can watch over and over and over again. And watch it until you can tell what they're gonna be saying next. And when you get used to that, watch it without the subtitle and try to understand. And try to understand what they say. Try to get used to their accent. And that's what I did when I was in Thailand. Okay, bye bye. So when I first came to this country, my English skill was pretty much like I would give it 10, 20 twenty percent. I could barely understand native speaker because they speak so fast, and they have different language and all that stuff. So, so I'm gonna be honest with you that the first month was really, really hard. After the first week that I came here, I had to start working at the restaurant right away. So I was pretty much forced to listen, to try to understand, to respond, and also to pick up the phone. And the first month, I was so afraid of picking up the phone, but I worked there, so I had to do it. So, so I pretty much had to start the hard way, because you know when you pick up the phone, you can't read their lips. So, you know you can only get to listen, and they speak really fast, and they have different accent. But that is the quickest way for me to get fluent in English. So, according to my personal experience. The quickest way to get fluent in English is to put yourself in the situation that you are forced to speak, to understand, to be surrounded by native speaker, and I think that is one of the best way that I get to experience to to get fluent in English. How beautiful. So the next thing that I did, and I'm still doing it to today, is listening to the radio and watching the TV, because I can always get to listen to different accent, 
and watch different category of TV program and watch all kind of movies and all that stuff. So I get to listen to different kind of word, get to listen to new vocabulary. And whenever I don't know which word, I ask my husband right away. So one more important thing is whenever you don't know and if you have the native speaker next to you or just your phone, you know, Google and all that stuff, just ask right away. Never be afraid to ask because asking doesn't mean that you are stupid, you know? Because if you don't ask, then you don't know. Yay! Yay. So the next thing that I'm still doing to today is to surround myself with foreigners or native speakers just to get myself to speak or use English as much as I can. It can be any type of way too, like you know, friends online or friends at school or even if you don't have foreigner as your friends, you can start from your family or friends that have the same interest, um, friends that are interested in the same thing that you are, which is uh, practicing English. You guys can start from speaking whatever you can and that's a good start already because the more you try, the more you practice, the more you speak, the better you will get. So let's get started. <laughs> hey Tommy, that's my boy. that I want to tell you is to never give up, never stop learning, never be afraid to make mistakes, never be afraid to ask, don't feel embarrassed to make mistakes, and practice, practice, and practice. And I guarantee you, the more you practice, the more you try, and as long as you don't give up, you will get there for sure. And I hope, um, and I hope things that helped me can help you too. And I also hope that you guys are having an amazing rest of the week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Bye Bob. <laughs> bye Bob, say bye. Smile. Smile. <laughs> and Lily's here too. Yay.